trying to buy my Cairo and Luxor crosses, which you can buy at the Cape Bay Citadel in Alexandria, but everyone's confused. <laughs> I'm in the manager's office now. I think they understand. So that's the five-day Cairo pass. That is the five-day... Sorry, that's the Cairo pass. That is Luxor. So you must have two passport size photos, a photocopy of your passport, and they are 100 US dollars each, but if you buy it together, they will take 50% off the second one, so 150 US for combo. I don't have the Luxor process yet, so now I'll buy a ticket. So this is a waste of $10 because I don't have the pass yet. I wanted to have the pass before I arrived here, but logistics. Okay, we're at the Luxor Temple, it's maybe 8 a.m. There's nobody here right now, the heat isn't too bad. So we kind of have the place to ourselves. And again, I don't have the Luxor Pass yet, so I had to pay 260 Egyptian pounds to get in. I wanted to have the pass before I arrived here to avoid all of this, but there is too problematic trying to get that pass. They make it really difficult. It's kind of rushed with this group. If I had my Luxor Pass, I could spend more time here, though um, there isn't necessarily that much here. But just the fact that if I had my pass, I would have free time to do as I like. And it's a five-day pass. So just to summarize, the Luxor and Cairo passes are 130 US dollars cash only, no card. They can only be bought in the city of use, so I was not able to pre-purchase the Luxor Pass. They said you can only buy it here. Plus, um, they only issue it the day of, because I tried to get the Cairo one ahead of time, and the same thing, they said no. And if you buy the two of them, you get 50% off the second one. So that's why they're worthwhile, and it's multiple entry for five days, so you can come and go as often as you like, but it's just a pain getting it. Okay, I'm gonna get stuck buying another ticket for 240. So I don't have this part. So I believe I can get the Luxor Pass here. This is one of the only two sites where you can buy it, but at this point, there's no point in buying it now. It's near impossible to buy it. I've already paid all of my entrance fees to the other place, so there's no point in buying it now. But you'd actually need to come a day before just to buy the pass. There's, there's only two places you can buy this here at Valley of the Kings and at the Karnak Temple. And the logistics of getting to the Valley of the Kings is quite difficult. So I've ended up getting three tickets here. One is a regular, one is two in Karnum, and one is Ramses. So at this point, there's not really any point in buying it. Again, when you look at these crowds, they really don't care. So they don't, they're not bothered. Okay, we have our tickets, we're going now. Okay, so let's just give up on the Luxor Pass and move on. So now we have to take these buggies again. This is if we have the Luxor Pass going in. We just a quiet spot here. So we have ended up doing everything in one day. So I didn't actually need to have the Luxor Pass. So tomorrow I can just have free time and rest. But given the heat, if I was doing this on my own, I would not have done it all in one day. I would have broken this into two days because the heat and the crowd is still quite a lot. And especially in the Valley of the Kings, when you go down, I was literally drinking the sweat off my face. That's how humid it was. Um, but anyway, that's essentially it for Luxor. So I managed to get everything done. Okay, so we're back in by actually the name of Blue Moon Guest House for 24 US dollars on the Nile overlooking the Luxor Temple. And I'm just gonna give you the lowdown on the Luxor and the Cairo passes. Are they worth it or not? So initially these sound to be good, but these are a complete pain in the neck and it's almost impossible to buy them. So these are the old prices. 
the price has now gone up to 100 US dollars cash only no card payment you must bring two passport size photos and a photocopy of your passport to get it now there's only certain places you can buy it let's let's talk about the Cairo pass first of all okay it says point of sale you can get it at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo the Giza Plateau or the Saladin Citadel in Luxor you can only buy it from the Karnak Temple or from the Valley of the Kings in Alexandria, I tried it at the Cape Bay Citadel, but they had the old passes at the old price and they said I couldn't sell it. There's also the Cultural Affairs Department. The Egyptian Museum tried calling them and they said that they will not sell them. So it is a pain in the neck trying to get them. So this is a five day pass and it will give you unlimited entry to all of these sites multiple times. So for example, I can go every day into Giza, I can go every day into the Egyptian Museum. All, all of these sites here. The, um, okay, same with Luxor, the Karnak Temple, the Luxor Museum, Valley of the Kings, Valley of the Queens. You can go for five days unlimited as well. However, they have made it near impossible to buy these. I wanted to get the Luxor Pass before I came to Luxor because I knew my cruise was going to come from Aswan and then they're going to start taking me round and round in these places out of sequence and I'm going to have to buy tickets because if they don't start at the Karnak Temple I don't have a pass. What I found out is you can only buy it in the city of use. I cannot buy the Luxor Pass in Cairo before I came. I tried multiple times. I tried at the Cape Bay Citadel, they couldn't sell it. The Egyptian Museum said that they don't have Luxor passes, only Cairo ones. They tried to call the cultural affairs, they said the same thing, you must go to Luxor to buy it. That created problems. If you're coming on a tour, they're going to start, you know, the ship will dock here. They'll start taking you round and round to the places and you don't have the pass with you, so I had to buy tickets. We started at the Luxor Temple. I didn't have the pass, I had to buy a ticket. Then we went to... I can't find it. I think is it this one here, Fat Should, the same thing, I had to buy the ticket. Then finally we came to, number three, we came to Valley of the Kings. By this point it was too late to buy the pass, this is one of the places to buy it. I'd already bought tickets here and here and this is number three. So at this point it wasn't worth buying the pass now because it's now 130 US dollars. And then number four, then we came to the Karnak Temple, again you can buy it Valley of the Kings and the Karnak Temple. At this point it was too late buying the pass because I would already paid for the ticket at Luxor Temple at Hefat Shut and here. So is $130 worth it? $130 would only be worth it, here it says five days, if you're going to stay for three to five days go into every single thing and go in more than once. I added up all the tickets for everything that we did, so the Luxor Temple, the Karnak Temple, Hefat Shut and Valley of the Kings. Valley of the Kings I did the standard ticket for £400, uh, I did the Tutankhamun ticket for £360 and the Ramses ticket for £120. So when you total up everything that we did together, Luxor, Karnak, Valley of the Kings, Hefat Shut, I paid $66 US dollars. So already, the pass is already more expensive. It is, it is cheaper to buy the tickets by yourself. It only would have paid for itself if I started going back into everything again. The second thing is, if you buy the two passes together, so they are 130 plus 130, but if you buy it together, or you, if you end up with two, because you can't buy them together, your first pass will be 130. Your second pass, when I go to Cairo to buy it, I can show my Luxor pass, now I get 50% off. So instead of 130, then I would be paying 65 US dollars. So then combined, it ends up being cheaper. So in that scenario, yes, it would be cheaper if you can get 50% off the second one. But however, as I mentioned, trying to get the Luxor pass ahead of time is near impossible because you can only buy at Valley of the Kings and the Karnak Temple, which are both out of the way to get there. And your cruise ship is going to start here and start going round and round like this out of sequence. So unless you can get here a day ahead which, or you can arrange with the cruise or somebody else to have the Luxor Pass waiting for you. Which again is difficult because they will only sell it on the day of issue. They can't pre-purchase it for you because I, again I tried to buy this in Cairo before I came. They would not sell it ahead of time. 
or I tried to buy the Cairo one ahead of time, they said no, you can only buy it from the day of use. So, again, they're making it near impossible. So, um, I don't think they really care because for the volume of tourists, like each of these cruise ships is going to unload with like 500 tourists. These people are all going to stand in line and pay for a ticket, so they don't really care about selling passes. Um, they get enough volume and the passes aren't even worth it. As I said, if you're just going to be here for a day or two and go to a couple of places, they don't add up to 130 US dollars. Unless you're going to be here for three to five days, go into every single thing, go back in more than once, go back into Valley of the Kings, go back into the Giza Plateau, go back into the Egyptian Museum, unless you start going in and you need like three to five days to have the time to do that, then they don't pay for themselves. And then the only saving would be is if you can get 50% off of the second one. But as I mentioned, buying the first one, Cairo was a little bit easier. I could, go, I could have went to the Egyptian Museum and got it there, or from the Giza Plateau. But then I wouldn't have had the, the Luxor pass because when I came on the cruise, and that's why I wanted to buy them ahead of time, because the cruise is going to start taking you around out of sequence. So unless you have that pass with you, when you arrive in Luxor, you're going to have to buy tickets. Um, so again, is it worth it? If you're traveling completely independently, you didn't come on a cruise and you could have bought the Luxor Pass by yourself, I would suggest when you get here from the train station to the airport, number one, you go straight to the Karnak Temple because that's the easiest to get to from the train station because it's on this side here and buy it there first and then start going around Luxor. But otherwise, in my case, it, I, it didn't work out. I would have wanted them as a souvenir, but again, they've made it near impossible they don't care because that's how many boatloads of people they will get per day so they really don't care if you don't have a pass or not you're not their priority um okay so that's where it stands as of today in 2023 of september the price has gone up and you the life store one is very difficult to buy Cairo is a bit easy life store is very difficult to buy so that would be my advice i don't think they're worth it <laughs>